The amount of times I had somebody come to me and say that they needed to lose 10 pounds. And not like they just said 10 pounds realizing they had to lose more. It's because that's what they thought. Well, that's maybe the last time they checked. And to say 10 pounds, looking at about, you know, 0.5 to 2 pounds a week, that's, you know, somewhere between five weeks and, you know, 20 weeks, 25 weeks. I mean, it doesn't seem like a whole lot. That's something around five months um, on the long end. Uh, but realistically, more pe people have more fat to lose than they think. And you probably have more fat than you think. So to come in here and say that, you know, you, you need to lose 10 pounds and be really quick. It, it's not a 21 day fix. It's not a quick burst of energy and then go back to what you were doing. It is about changing your habits. And habits is really what your lifestyle is when they say it's a lifestyle. It, the, the habits that you've been partaking, the practices, that the skills that you've been using now got you to this, this weight that you're saying is 10 pounds overweight. Realistically, to, to unwind that, you have to put the brakes on the habits you're already doing and replace them or redirect them to help you get to your eventual goal. And truth of the matter is, it's probably a little bit more than 10 pounds. You have more fat to lose than you think. Majority of men, when they really push for it, need, they want to be around 15% body fat. To see some outline of, of, of abs, if they want to call it that. And for most women, it's somewhere between 18 and 23%. If I, if I lined up all these photos and said, pick the one that you want to look at like. Most people, most women, 8 to 23 and uh, 18, sorry, to 23, and most men somewhere around 12 to 15%, maybe some up as high as 17%. But that means that you probably have more than 10 pounds to lose. And by saying this, I'm not trying to discourage you in a way. I'm trying to tell you, buckle up. This is going to take a little bit longer than you anticipated. This is about rewriting your software where it comes to your habits, your lifestyle. This is, you're not gonna be able to indulge as much as you're currently indulging. Maybe at some point you'll be able to indulge more than we're about to, to allow now, but you have to curate a deficit. And what is a deficit? You have to spend more than you make. Long enough that you've spent the surplus of calories that exist on your body, which is more than likely 10, more than 10 pounds. And if we use if we use the measurement as pounds, I think we're doing a little bit of a disservice. And I think this is why there's so much trouble in this industry is that we have to probably look at body fat percentage more. Let's get your body fat percentage down. That is the more telling sign. That's going to help you to, to really correlate to fitting a certain uh, type of clothing or looking a certain way, not the scale number. Because there's lots of examples. You can type this right into the into your browser right now. Looking at comparison weights for different people. Depending on your height. Depending on how much muscle you have. Your body type. All this stuff. It's not about weight. You have more fat than you think you have. So that means you have to lose body fat percentage. And that's the number we should be looking at. But realistically, what I'm trying to say is it's time to buckle up and get on this journey. Start rewriting this software because you probably have more fat than you think.